We're gonna take a look at piano version three. It's their modeled piano. We've got a lot of sampled, not a lot of ones that are actually physically modeled. That's what they're doing here with the, the piano V3. So let's just dive right in. But this is the American Grand, and I'm thinking that they modeled this after a Stein, after the Stein way. Yeah, this is the Steinway model. And Arturia's model pianos, they have a certain quality about them. Um, it's almost like, um, let's see. Just like a little metallic overtone to them. And then we can go into the advanced uh, tab and be able to shape some of that with the, um, we can close the lid, open the lid, and adjust the uh, resonance and that kind of thing. You've got, you've got some really nice controls. One of the things that I really liked was when I first opened this up, uh, it gave you the option of calibrating your keyboard to that. And so you see this velocity curve, that's a result of uh, kind of finessing that, uh, that curve. So that's the American Grand, and we've got the German Grand. It's got a little woodier, woodier texture. Or it could be the Hamburg Steinway that they modeled this after. So it's got some really interesting things. And Japanese Grand, and I'm thinking that this is like a Yamaha. It's got a little more bite to it. I like that bottom end. Oh yeah, and then a pop grand. Yeah, now this is probably is a C7. I bet you the Japanese grand was more like the CFX, according to the picture. Um, and uh, the pop grand looks like a C7. And it's got a little rattle to it. And 
honestly, this, um, this almost sounds like a CP70, uh, more like an electric grand. Yeah, that low end um, is very reminiscent of what I remember playing a, a real CP70. Yeah, it's just got just such a honk to it. Okay, now this is a classical upright, so typically probably like a U3, like the Yamaha type of thing. Yeah. This is nice. Let me uh, see what the reverb is. Uh, yeah, we've got a jazz club. Let's uh, let's kind of make it uh, like a bright uh, like a bright space. And we can adjust that. This is so nice. I like the tone of this. Yeah, very nice. Classical upright. Let's pull up the jazz upright. Yeah, let's... Again, a real intimate. I, it... I like the uprights. I mean, I I am I, I feel like I'm liking the uprights more um, than the grands as far as the sound and the. Uh, the, the modeling. And let me see. And then the pop up right, it's a little brighter. Ah. A little brighter upright. You've got all of these different tone, tone colors. Uh, okay, yeah, we've got. Uh, tacky, tacky stuff going on here. Yeah. So you've got all kinds of different things. And then you've got the, the uh, glass grand. And this is like for me, sound design territory. That's really cool. 
and then metallic, like a metallic grand. A little brittle, a little brittle sounding. So let's go back, let's go back to the, um, the upright. and put it back in that jazz club. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's kind of fun. Now let's just, uh, let's pull up just the regular, let's just pull up some of the uh, defaults here. And pull up that jazz upright again. And mess with the timbre. And some of the, uh, let's just kind of mess with the model a little bit. The strings, it's kind of, See, we've got all of these things in here just to kind of the stretch tuning. Let's age it. Yeah. Just, just something really kind of fun. Yeah, and you can get into some of this. So it's just been such a fun uh, time being with everybody today. Uh, it's been uh, been crazy. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. So make sure that you check out all the links in the description. Yeah. Make sure you check out all the links in the description here. Uh, okay, so it's like uh, Christmas in... Um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful.